Here we are, Jan. We're at the Champions Club. They've uh, spruced this place up quite a bit over the last year or two, and they've added a lot of pictures from all the division championships dating, mm -hmm. dating back to 2012, and then a lot of the individual awards that were won here as well, silver sluggers, gold gloves, all that stuff. But this is kind of the progression uh, as we walk our way down here, starting with some of, so there's Zim. Yeah, got everything he deserved. Right there, uh, yeah. getting drenched with the NL championship trophy. Yeah, those were always, uh, and I, I think I said this before in one of the interviews that we did about the World Series and the, the playoff run, watching him celebrate everything. You know, you catch a moment, we're all celebrating together, but then you get to watch Zim. Like, the guy was, like, such a big deal. And it, it is a big deal for this whole organization. And uh, watching him, like, taking it all in, how long it took for him to, to get that moment. And I'm sure he, uh, that, that way was worth it for sure. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Going on, boss. Right, how are you? Good to see you. Good, good to see family. you. All good? good. Everybody's good. Yeah. Beautiful. Happy to be getting to check out the. Exactly. All, all your. Uh, all, all what your, we did. All your success. Exactly. No, it's really good to see you. Good to see you too. Everything good? Everything's great. Talk to you. I'll talk to you after the season. Absolutely. See you, man. See you. See you, Rose. I'm glad we got to do one of them here. Uh, I know can't pick them. I thought we were going to do the World Series here because we took two out of there, but history. Uh, Wrote itself in a different way. Yeah, and it worked out okay. Right. So this was this was after the wild card game. We mm -hmm. brought Huddy and Trey up here, and oh. Huddy got to share his stories of how he was warming up in the bullpen, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, without having a chance to throw a pitch, he had to be in the, in game. the game because Juan got tagged out on the bases. Everyone's <laughs> yeah. running around crazy in the bullpen. He didn't uh. have a chance to really warm up. What are your really? memories of that that so moment, I, the Juan hit, and then chaos ensuing? I mean, chaos speaks for itself. I think uh, we were, that whole season, it was just a season of, like, glimpse of hope. Anytime, like, you showed us a light, that we were taking it, you know. And uh, we started getting some guys on. They bring in possibly the best closer in the game against possibly the best hitter in the game. That was crazy. I think that was the most, like, surprising celebration. Because, like, you know, being down 3-1 to one in the 7th, 8th inning and going against, like against I said, hater. against Hayter. That, that celebration was for sure not planned. <laughs> I kind of joke around with guys like, that World Series celebration is so different because you're just exhausted. <laughs> it, it, like literally, it, it's like the weight has been lifted off and you're just like, almost like in awe. It's even hard to even talk about it because you're like, it's hard to explain yeah. what happened here. And next thing you know, we black out, wake up, we're World Series champs. That was a moment uh, none of us will ever forget. For sure, a little bit hazy, but... Um, those are uh, core memories that are going to still live for the rest of our lives. No doubt. Yeah, and then here's Zim lifting the trophy. That is the most gent, like, just his face celebrating. Like I said, I didn't even get goosebumps thinking mm -hmm. about it. Like, I mean, that's Mr. National, you know? Like, that's the, getting, to, getting to win a World Series with the, the guy that's pretty much built this place and been here since the beginning. He, he deserved everything that he's getting, and our, that World Series was just the like the cherry on top of his career, which he deserves. I mean, I'll keep saying this, he deserved every minute of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then uh, we got you over here. This is after <laughs> the strikeout of Brantley to finish off game seven and you running out to Huddy and capped it off with the strikeout and uh, the, the back foot slider to Brantley. Take us through that. I think we kind of exposed a part of their game. Two pitches before that or a pitch before that, he hit a home run foul. foul. And as soon as that happened, we were like, oh, man, like it opened up finally. Like we can get him to chase the pitch. And um, Jim Wolf is the umpire behind the plate. And I'm like kind of like just standing up, just kind of having that moment. I'm like, it's two outs in the World Series. What kid, what kid doesn't dream about this? And he looks at me, he puts his hands on my shoulder. He's like, hey, just take a deep breath, man. You got this. And I, I remember I turned around and was like, you shut up and like you, you, you sit down and you relax. I'm like, like you just call strikes the balls. Like, don't screw this up. Really. But I, I got a great relationship with Wolfie, and uh, it was a, it was a moment with an umpire in the middle of a game. He's telling you like, you guys, have, you guys have did this, and I was like, just relax. And yeah, like, you know, just don't sit back there. And yeah. I don't want to be part of the the bad side of history. I mean, yeah. But uh, no, it was a, um, and again, man, like that that moment was like. We're, we're, it's like a, a, a black idol celebration. Like you're, you're just, it's the way it's been lifted off. You don't have to stress out about playing tomorrow. Now you can just have as much fun as you can and 
which we try to do it as much as we could in DC. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of a fitting transition here to a couple shots yeah. from the celebration <laughs> during, during the parade and, and at the tail end of the parade with you guys all on stage. That is an absolute phenomenal picture. Isn't it? Yeah. Do you have memories from the parade from actually being atop the float or yeah. just going around D.C. that still resonate with you? Yeah. Um, first of all, what an amazing turnout. Like, not that we expected anything less. Um, but that was the uh, the moment where um, our whole family was there. You know, I I was in the um, the flow with you know both of my kids at the time. You know, we got a third one now, and they had no idea what was going on. There's thousands, millions of people sitting out there and um, throwing beers across each other and stuff. Yep. So pretty sure it was like the archive where they got the yep. big National step, Archives. National yep. Archive, and everybody just passed. So here. that was to me the the coolest part of the whole. Uh, um, the whole parade, because that's when you take it in and you're like, that is a boatload of people there. I mean, every single inch of that place was uh, filled up. And we'll start it, down oh, here I didn't even that. see that up there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so they got the big mural up top, and then they started the wild card game over here on the left, and we make our way down. And they got little <laughs> hats, jerseys. That do little butterfly jump, like his little yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, you got <laughs> a little bit of air. Yeah. That's really cool, man. This, I had no idea any of this stuff was here. Yeah. Was, we talk about the NLDS game and uh, Michael Taylor's most nonchalant mm -hmm. celebration that mm -hmm. I've ever seen. Yeah, I caught uh, it. Yeah, uh, like I got the, oh, okay, let's <laughs> celebrate. And we're like, did you catch it, man? Like, <laughs> we're, trying to, we're trying to celebrate. React somehow. Uh, yeah, and then the NLCS, and you had a, you had a big NLCS. You drove in the first run in game one. Kevin Combs is going to send this one on one hop off the wall. Kendrick will score, and it is Jan Gomes who delivers the first run of the NLCS. That was, that was a, a cool part of history. Uh, I think that was the first ones, right? The, yeah, past or, the NLCS, or past the NLDS, that was the first time the Nets had advanced to the championship series round, cool. and you drove in the first run for the team in yeah. the NLCS, and then had a couple RBI in, in game four, the clinching oh, yeah. game here at Nats Park. Yeah, but that, but that was like the, the thing of that year, man. Like, we, you can't, I mean, yes, you can you can pinpoint Strasburg throughout the whole playoffs. You can pinpoint Scherzer, Juan Soto, Rendon, how, but like, Every single person, and I mean, as you can see, I know we're not getting too far, but like Para and mm -hmm. Annabelle, Annabelle nearly throws a, a no perfect hitter. game or yeah. no hitter. Um, everyone had like a, a pace that made everyone else like more comfortable and confident that we were, we were in something special. And, um, you know, getting to be a small part of it, and it was, it was really cool. Well, more than a small part of it. And then, yeah, we got the close-up shot here of um, you and Huddy. Dude, it's a, I had no, uh, no idea that this is all out here, but just any time, like, you get, you know, getting to see that and getting to the moment of, like, oh, like, oh, we did it, man. Mm -hmm. It was cool getting to see, like, everyone's, like, face, you know, like, when you're, you win it all and then you come back and you, you know, you, you hug Rizzo and you hug... Davey, you know, you hug your, your staff and the guys that you grinded it out with. Because they, without all those guys, you know, go from like Henry Blanco, Mar Octavio Martinez, like K Long, like Ali, like guys that like are behind the scenes and people don't, you know, yeah. don't know about. And getting to hug them and, you know, from all of our clubbies, the guys that were from our trainers. And that was also like one of the biggest and those special moments of getting to celebrate with, with those guys and, you know, bringing, because they put, man, if people knew, they put 10 times as much work than we do because they got to take care of all of us and keeping us on the field. And this is kind of like what makes me think of celebrating, like, those moments and getting to hug those guys. Yeah. For sure. So we got the trophy here. This Hey, they got the gets, flags in. They, they, well, this re not be they re put the flags in there. They glued those things in there or whatever they do. Uh -huh. Now, one thing that we do not have in here. <laughs> this is how you're going to walk it into it. Is the baseball yeah. from game Where? seven. Mm -hmm. um, how often do you get asked what you did with the ball? Um, the anytime ball? we ever talk about my playoff experience or, or the World Series, I get asked about 
the ball. Um, I somehow had the, the mindset of, uh, as soon as we get the last out, to put it in my back pocket and uh, zip it up. <laughs> or I guess close the button. And, mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, I, uh, it's no secret, I do have it. Uh, it's at home in a, a very special place. Secure location? It's a very secure location, probably just as secure as this. <laughs> you brought it out when we did the Game 7 Zoom, mm -hmm. uh, and you showed it off to everybody, and yeah. there were some doubters on the Zoom call. I think Trey didn't believe that it was the actual ball, and you showed off the authentication sticker. I think proving. I had to block that out, but yes. Uh, <laughs> Trey and all those guys know that it's the real ball. They've been over at the house, and they know the... Um, yeah, I don't know. It was like a... I don't even know what made me think of putting the ball in my back pocket. Because you can see, like, the second after that, I'm throwing everything. So I'm just glad I didn't throw the ball away. Smart. You're a smart man. <laughs> Would have been having to deal with these questions with somebody else. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I just want to take us down here to the end so we can show off a couple more shots of all you guys on the field together. And then the baby shark working its way in. <laughs> baby shark. Baby shark worked its way in. Uh, it, it, it made itself a big part of the, the team. Uh, um, Gerardo Parra, Anibal Sanchez, like those guys are, they really, uh, without them, I don't know, like the personality of that team yeah, and, and what, what it would have looked like. You know, you guys all saw it and how much they made the, that year fun and um, they rightfully deserve a, a big part of a, uh, in history with this team because they, without them, I'm sure, um, the morale of the team would have definitely been low, and they did a they did a phenomenal job. And it even made its way onto the ring, the baby shark on the inside. It, it sure did. How about that? Huh? Do you uh, do you break out the ring from time to time to show it to family, to show it to friends? Uh, I think that's the second thing that people ask. Yeah. Uh, they ask about the ball, and then they uh, they ask me to see the ring, and uh, it, they always say it's a lot heavier than they think. Oh yeah. Right. And uh, there's a we want an Emmy. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't get invited to the annual work. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been doing something. Our, our crew produced a documentary. Oh, you, yeah. were, you were interviewed oh, yeah. for yeah. it, and yeah, yeah it, won a, uh, okay. it won an Emmy Award for that. Well, so. congratulations on that. Look at that. We're all winners at yeah, the end of the day. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> so your final thoughts, Jan, just on what made that 2019 team special. Beyond the accomplishment that you guys mm -hmm. were able to, to have together, what was it about that group that um, made it click? Man, I was t I was talking to Rossi actually yesterday about it, and it's like you just don't know. Like, I mean, you know, like what went into it, mm -hmm. but it's it's something that it, it happened so organically, so like natural. I think we we had the one and no meeting where guys are nearly crying because like we're we're seeing things go absolutely the worst way possible it could have gone in the beginning of that year, you know. Um, Davey uh, and a bunch of guys on the team, we just kind of sat around and be like, hey, we either do this and we have fun doing it or, I mean, kiss it goodbye. Like, we're, you know, I think it was a time where, like, some guys could have probably, like, been traded or hired or however you want to put it. So, yeah, uh, Improbable couldn't have been a better uh, name for, for the documentary. Uh, but the one thing I always hold on to, man, like, being a World Series champ, that's not, we've all, I mean, that's not something that just comes around, you know, uh, easy and you know that's something that forever for every single one of us on that team uh, you can never take that away from us we will always be a member uh, of a world series team the bond that every single one of these guys will ever hold together you can't you can't take that away from us um, i cannot wait when that time comes that we we get to come back and hang out together because one thing this team was really good at was uh celebrating and partying so i can't wait to to come back here and talk about you know these moments with everybody. Yeah, the reunions are going to be. Uh, yeah, we always to, made it legendary. We're going to sure. have to stock the, the fridges for those. <laughs> but yeah, it's been really fun going down memory lane with you. No. A, a huge part of that championship team, and it's so great having you back here. In Absolutely, man. Thanks for thanks for letting me do this with you guys, and uh, um, it was an honor to to be part of that team. And uh, again, it'll forever hold a special place in my heart. Ours too. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, brother.